Good morning, guys. So today is the 4th of July. This is going to go on after today, though. But happy 4th of July to all my friends across the pond and all our subscribers. Hope you have a good day and hope you have a great day celebrating. So I'm currently walking down Cannon Gate, which is also known as the Royal Mile. It's not even that one, it's but actually a mile. But this one's from the castle, at the top, which I walked 82 one day, down to Hollywood Palace, which is where the Queen stops when she visits Edinburgh. Now the room race is actually here. Um, so we're not gonna go in today. I can't go, we can't, we can't go in, but I'm not gonna go down today. Um, I'm gonna go far to sea, which is a hill. Quite a steep hill, which overlooks Edinburgh. Um, we did it two years ago when Ashley was training for what she did through her old job for charity. We haven't done it since, and it's going to be hard work because um, I'm not as fit as I used to be. But I need to get fitter and lose a bit of weight, so that's the plan. So you're going to come with me um, as I walk down the Royal Mile. There's so many little shops. The Museum of Edinburgh, quite cute. Churchyard, you can do a um, haunted graveyard tour on that one, that's quite cool. Um, there's a Starbucks, that's on every street. There's a Christmas shop, which if it's open on the way back, I might pop in and get a bit of Christmas spirit, even though it's only the 4th of July. At the bottom of the hill, as well as Hollywood Palace, there's also the Scottish Parliament. So we'll show you about that as well. Alright guys, so behind me, well I'm actually here, is Scottish Parliament. This is the old building, as far as I'm aware, so the entrance. I probably shouldn't be vlogging that, but I am. So this is all the old Scottish Parliament building, okay? And what they did, I don't know when they built it. Um, they built a brand new building, so we'll show you that in a second. And here it is. Um, it's very odd. Yeah, it's it doesn't fit in with the decor and the buildings around. The buildings around here are all very old. Right, as you can see behind me. We've got this one stuff. I don't get it. It doesn't fit in at all. Um, yeah. Right opposite Parliament is Hollywood. Now, earlier I was saying the Queen might be here. She is definitely in residence. The armed police around here are ridiculous. The street behind me. I can't see it now. Here. So here. Um, the road's all closed. Yeah. So definitely, she's definitely in residence. You can't even go in the shop, in the Queen's Gallery. That's how um, they go. I think she is when you push pencil. You know? Cool though, but they are still doing work on it. So yeah, this is Scottish Parliament, back to where I was talking about. It's very odd, it doesn't fit. This bag boy here, you can just see the bit of it. This bit is off the seat. Yeah, it's gonna hurt. Very steep. But I'm looking forward to it. And the sun's out as well, so all good. And all of a sudden, guys, these things have popped up around the city. Okay? They're called all woolies. If I pass that right, Ashley will kill me if I haven't. And it's a little bucket trail, which is quite cool. So you can download the app, and this is number 2627, which is quite cool. He looks quite jolly, doesn't he? There's the one over here. So also behind Scottish Parliament, you can't see it because of the trees, it's something that's called Dynamic Earth. Now, I did this once on a Christmas night out. We went there for Christmas night out, it was quite cool. Um, I want to go back because I really couldn't remember much of the night. <laughs> so yeah. Mm, yeah. But there's Dynamic Earth. You can just see it through the trees. Here, this is Dynamic Earth. And here's another bucket trail. He's very summery. I think it's meant to be a sunflower. That's quite cool. Very cool. And he's number 2076. Okay. She's definitely in because I parked in town, because I get free parking because I work in town. And I'm glad I did, because the car park I was going to come into, is closed. Because it backs on, so this behind me, this fence here, is Hollywood Palace. 
so it physically backs onto the pallets. So she's either coming in or she's going out. One or the other. Which is quite cool. So there's two ways you can go up Arthur's Seat. This is called the Radical Road, right? It goes all the way up the top. Now this one is closed because there's been a rockfall. So, okay. So I'm glad there's another way. And also to confirm the Queen is here. She's obviously coming out in a minute because she come out this door. We'll tell the police. Wow. That's a lot. Oh, there's a marquee in there as well. When we get to the top, we can have a good looky looky. So we're gonna go up there, maybe. Up there, yeah, let's go. So another path, hard path, tiring path, one way up, one way down. There's police everywhere. The strange thing is guys, right, see this wall? Outside the wall is a grass verge, which goes all the way up to the top of the wall. Very odd. No fence, just a wall, which is maybe five, six feet tall, and then you're in Hollywood. I wouldn't recommend breaking in though today, because the Queen will probably shoot you. Hi guys, Hollywood Palace. And yep, yeah, she's in. The flag is up. I don't think you'll hear it because it's very windy. I um, hope you can hear what I'm saying. There's a piper, just one, one, lone piper just started. So, I don't know if she's coming out, or what. Um, but some good bikes, going, motorbikes going down here, police bikes. And as you pan around, this field is normally, this is like, they're everywhere, even dotted around the field, police, just dotted about. It's quite cool though. And the rash has been in there, um, and that's in an earlier vlog, I think, she some pictures and that kind of thing. I would like to go in one day and see it. We'll see. All right, guys. So I'm on my way up. As you can see, tarmac path. Everyone thinks great tarmac all the way. Now let's not let's not lie about it. It is not. It's very rocky, very steep, and very up and down. And you'll see that in about five minutes because I'm actually going higher than this one. It's, you don't even see it, it's behind this tree, it's up here. Yeah, so let's go. There's so many footpaths leading to the top. And I've probably picked the steepest one. But I'm up for a challenge today. It wasn't even five minutes. Tarmac goes this way, I go this way. Gravel, my favourite. Guys, there it is, there's the top. So it's currently five past nine. I reckon an hour, hour and a half, maybe. Let's see. This is the main path. Now, as I pan around, you'll see there's grass and you'll see there's paths all the way up here. I wouldn't recommend it um, using a non-authorized path when you go up this mountain. Mountain, hill, what do you want to call it? Arthur's seat because there are rock falls, they do happen. So we always recommend you stick to the main paths. Maybe hard, but, and longer than the grass route. But let's be honest, 10 times is safe. Very slippy on the foot already. Very warm as well. Oh dear. See what I mean? Old school steps. And there's just paths that go off it. This one looks all right though. Past the bambles. Very steep guys. I also did put my activity on my watch as well. So, I can measure my heart rate. I want to finish up and down. I'll take a picture and I'll put that in at the end. If I make it to the end, because I'm out of breath already. Guys, I'm not even halfway up and the view 
is amazing. Look at it. It's beautiful. So this over here is Carton Hill. Below Carton Hill, here. Hollywood Palace, just been there. This is the sea, or the fourth. The stadium, football stadium in front of us is Easter Road, home of Hibernian. Hibs is a short name. One of the teams that are based in Edinburgh. Across the water, five. There's the Queen's helicopter. Coming to land to pick him up. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah, she's in. She's going out today. She's going out to buy a mole. She's been here for the week. Hi right, guys. I think I'm just over halfway. The view gets even better. Look at it. There's a pan round past the hill. This is Musselburgh. In the distance, you can see this mound. That is Boke upon Tweed, which is cool. A bit further, I think this is Musselburgh. Somewhere here, Preston Pans maybe. <sighs> yeah, and up we go. It is very steep. Very slippy on the foot with the, uh, the gravel. The rain we've had actually recently has washed some of the uh, mud away. So some of the steps are a lot higher than I remember. Yeah. My heart rate is currently 154 beats per minute, which you know is not healthy. But I'm doing this for a reason, to push my body. Because come Florida, I'll be walking a lot. So I need to up my walking skills. I know I'm walking up any hills, but this one feels like a mountain today. Absolute massive mountain, but it will not beat me. I'm going up there. Oh, it's currently 20 past nine. So 15 minutes to get here. Maybe underestimated myself, can't talk now. All right guys, same view. I reckon about maybe 300 feet higher. It's beautiful. Very, very windy. There's the edge. I'm not even on top yet. I like that wind blowing. But the view is absolutely amazing. And here is where we live. Awesome. I'm going up there. There's the path. Very rocky. There's some guy running down it. That's absolutely insane. Mental. Wow. Fair play to him, though. Fair play to him. The guy just videoed. Running down here. Just ran off the cliff. Now, I know somewhere there's a path, right? He also does a lot because he just didn't stop. He just went. He just ran. Wow, mental. Now I'm confused. There's a path here. There's a path here. The guy I talked to earlier went up this path and he's there. There's a female somewhere here went up this path. Maybe I'll go up this one and down this one. Very steep, very windy. Wind's blowing across. So I'd say this one's better, but there's no fence. But we'll go for it anyway. So, the chopper's still there for the Queen. You can just see it in the middle of the meadow. Here, Hollywood Palace, there. I guess it's not left yet. I can hear, still hear the piper and the flag is still up. So, we'll see if I get to the top as she takes off. Holy bugger, that was steep. Steep and slippy. Very high. Let's go. Up we go. Uh, this way, path. Very small path. 
but a path nevertheless. Oh, oh dear. Cool though. Guys, I made it. 20 minutes. Huh. Easy, very windy. Absolutely amazing view. Crazy man. There's the top. Wow, very windy. Okay, now it's gonna be interesting. Hi right, guys. You saw the plane helicopter come in? Now she helicopter's going away. Queen in tow. I don't get to bow them all. That's what the boom was. But off she goes. It's fine, go on. Hey guys, I got to the top. I did a bit of viewing. I took a picture. So that picture's going to go in for you right now. I then put the camera for a bit because the bit I came down was very, very tricky. And very slippy. This bit. So... For safety reasons, this bad boy went away. It took me 20 to 25 minutes to get to the top. Heart rate was 170 at the top. So I'm now going to weigh down. So I'm going to put the camera away again for a little bit. Because I've already viewed coming up. And I'll come back and one at the bottom. Alright guys, I am nearly at the bottom. And as I'm walking down, not vlogging. As I was looking at the steeper, oh, I'm on that slope that I am. There are so many people climbing this It's crazy. Oh. But it's safe to say, they are not wearing the right attire. Jeez, we're not bad. Ridiculous. Another runner. Another one coming. Oh, back up, missed off. Strange. I've been quite etiquette. I think that's pretty stopped as well. People are wearing like thumb shoes rather than trainers, which I meant, or walking boots. I would recommend either of those two trainers or walking boots. Nothing else for this. Because for once the grip is rubbish, um, and your soul will probably fall apart because it's jaggy. Is the only way you can describe it. Very, very jaggy. Very steep this bit as well. Okay guys, so as of today, the 4th of July 2019, we have 286 subscribers. Wow, thank you very much for subscribing to our channel. We hope you enjoy it. Um, we do say this every so often, if you want us to go and see anywhere in Scotland, we we'll just come drive to and back within a day from Edinburgh. So, Three hours drive maybe, four hours drive either way. I'm happy to do that. Please comment below. Um, and I'll go. Oh, I'm a day off, like today. Or the weekend I get a day off, me and Asher will go. She doesn't like doing these vlogs as much as me. Um, but we will go somewhere. I love doing these talking once when I'm walking and talking. She prefers sitting down in the house and doing the live updates. So, best of both worlds. So yeah. Thank you for subscribing. We hope you enjoy um, our future vlogs that are gonna get very exciting very soon because in November, we're off home. Yep, we are off to Walt Disney World. Animal Kingdom Lodge, we are coming for you. Thanks again, guys. Bye-bye. Hi, guys. I'm back on. I'm gonna go into a little detail. I'm in a place called Jacob's Ladder. I have no idea. Completely no idea where this goes. I just know it's more stairs for my tired legs. Intriguing, definitely. But it does look over uh, Waverley. Hmm. I really. It's just walls. I don't know. Interesting. My legs are so sore and it gets steeper and steeper. And the steps get smaller and smaller. I hit my toe every time. Oh, my legs are sore. 
good view though. So I was just up there. Oh, dear me. Now I know I am. Carlton Hill. Not today, but one day I'll go up there. Because the building can go up, the observatory, I think it's here somewhere. It looks closed because it's covered in scaffolding. So the view won't, that, won't be that good because there'll be scaffolding in the way. Bye guys, this time I'm saying goodbye. Because I'm knackered. From my walk about the seat and my walk up take a ladder just, which wasn't that high. But after going about the seat and now and in half an hour, 40, 40 minutes, yeah. So, this is the way to. I forgot what it's called now. Carlton Hill. I'm not that today. More steps and more hills. So, I'm gonna go home. So, once again, it's bye from me. Thanks for subscribing. See you soon. Bye bye.